Hey everybody, welcome back to Demon's Crest. I did say I was I was going to clear this out and t start us at the boss, but you know what? I feel like I should show off the legendary gargoyle. This is Firebrand as he was before the battle with Phalanx. And here we have the boss of this area, the Griwon. Ow, it hits pretty hard. You may desire to use the armor charm. The armor talisman, sorry. Especially since you can't really get that second hit off during its invincibility phase, but the damage this thing does is legendary. Taking this on with anything other than the legendary gargoyle, not recommended. Because it's very aggressive. What's it got? You got the piece of the fire crest called Demon Fire. This is the most powerful fire in the realm. That is a lie. It is at best as strong as our current version. And now, it's time. We're ready to take on the newly appeared stage. Phalanx's Fortress. The spells I can pick up won't really do anything. I've got a full set of urns. We're ready. Final battle begin. So, first thing you want to do, switch to the legendary gargoyle. I love these little guys. He's got two imps that fire crossbows and then lose it when they miss. You notice that's a broken portrait. That's why. I recommend the hand here because those don't have invincibility frames. Hit them while they're jumping. Kill them before they touch down, and your life will be much, much easier. You do not want to fight them on the ground. What's this? We're already up to our first battle. Why, it's yet another fucking hippogriff. Are we done with you yet? Oh, this one's gold. It can't really stand up to the power of our newfound form. Like, literally, this thing can take maybe 15-ish shots, and it's dead. Complete pushover. You may notice our health is green in legendary form. That is because we effectively have armor. Or the armor talisman, at least. Wow, I wish that health refresh was... that health refill was a little more useful. Oh, well. On to the next bit. Ooh, it's a ghost! Yeah, screw you guys, I'm out. Nope, later, pal. Just keep on going up. You want to conserve your health as much as possible. Now, this bell is very, very important. Let me tell you why. Aside from bringing in the new era of Firebrand's reign, it's got the last health extension. 20 segments of health, and we're going to need every last one of them. This is another area for the Aerial Gargoyle. Have to be careful around those. And flying under the crap, the crap launchers. Ow. I believe it's around here somewhere. Now, before too much longer, we're going to come on a little area. Here it is, which has the other most important talisman in the game. That looks like a necklace. That is the fang, and the fang doubles the damage ideal. Very important that you find that as well. This is a little something extra for completionists in this game. Ow, god damn it. Crapped on for four life. There's another health fill up. There's another health refill here. Now the Fang, I can only shoot one shot, but I do two to three times the damage, as I recall. You can go through here cautiously, or you can just eat shit on the way down. I prefer to eat shit on the way down. It's much faster. 
Oh, that's gruesome. So these are... I'm trying to get some health off of these for the battle with the gray one. We've got another one coming up. This is a Capcom game. You guys had to know there would be a lot of recycling. Just being... Demons being tortured. Why am I getting health? I have the skull equipped. Oh well. I can make do without. Alright. This is it. The battle right before Phalanx. Well, I'm going to show you why you like the Fang. Two hits and it's red. Three hits and it's almost dead. Four hits and it's gone. That's how powerful the Fang is. That's it. Now, we're on to the final bit. Wow, that's a hellish looking wall. That's a hell of an arena. Wow, you're hellishly ugly. I've waited a lifetime for this moment, Firebrand. You and I were destined to clash. And you, it seems, are destined to die. Uh, yeah, we'll see how that plays out, buddy. Uh, oh, okay, that's a neat trick. Uh, all I got is this wing thing where I float around and kick your ass. For this first phase, you, uh, ow, might want the armor equipped because you want to avoid taking damage as much as possible in this area, in this first phase. Because the fewer urns you use, the better your odds of winning this fight. That may sound that may sound nonsensical, but it will make sense in the end. This is a difficult battle, I will not lie. If you can get through with just one urn, you're doing well. Okay, are we on to phase two yet? No, but we're getting there. Now we're at phase two. Um, can you get your ass out of my face? Thank you. Ah, where's all that tough talk now? Yes, you do have the power I seek. The crest of heaven! Um, yeah, he took the final crest. As Firebrand was defeated, he scattered the remaining crests. Phalanx found most, but not all of them. Uh, I don't like this. Oh goody, he's fully healed. Is this all the skill you possess? Fight harder and die with honor! So we want to get as many hits in at this point as we can, because now we have to go to the title gargoyle. This is phase two. You really want the armor talisman here. Because you will not have the luxury of the legendary gargoyle to protect you. You may notice how much hurt that did. You can, you can get really aggressive while he's in the water, though. Ow! Damn, I really hope I don't have to use an urn this early. Oh, I am laying the smack. This is better than I usually do. He is usually not this cooperative. I, I'd like to say thank you, Phalanx, for not being a complete and utter prick. Well, 
little patience goes a long way in this battle. Keep that in mind. Every hit is a little bit closer to your goal, but don't get greedy. That will be the end of you. I'm not sure if he's changing colors yet. You'll know when this phase ends when the water drains out. See, I got greedy there. And, oh, we're done. Okay, cool. We're almost to the end of this. Now we have we get ready for a, a hell of a battle. Our uh, aerial gargoyle form can't hurt him, even though we need it. We're going to be swapping very often, very quickly. Woo! That attack bounces around and tracks now. Ow. Okay, I may need that urn sooner than later. I usually don't need one at this point, but better safe than sorry. That is a black hole. You do not want to get stuck in that. It lags the screen out, for one. Oh god, and it draws you in. It also slows the... Wow, I could have not used that urn. Ha! Where's all that tough talk now, asshole? You think you have destroyed me. But it was merely a shadow. Uh, what? Um. Um. You are... Powerfully ugly. That's moderately terrifying. Uh-oh. Finally, the ultimate power. Behold! The Crest of Infinity! Oh, that's lava. Huh. And this is it. The path to the final battle. Firebrand's chill as hell, just riding a, f a skull platform across a river of lava. Oh, well, where's this going? Where am I? Oh! Oh! I'm sorry. You were beaten with the ugly stick. My apologies. Now the world stands helpless against my power. I need you no longer, Firebrand. You are now merely a nuisance. Die! So this dude is a douchebag, and this dude's a pain in the ass. We're going straight to the fang. I usually get in a war of attrition with this guy. Because it's a war you will win every time if you've been if you saved your urns. Okay, let's get another one ready. Damn. Okay. If I can get... Whoa. The real hard part is getting eye level with him and not getting knocked back. That beam hurts, but not nearly as much as his previous form does. Okay, let's fill up. I'm going to abandon, abandon any semblance of skill and try to knock him down through brute force, as is my M.O. Come on! 
if this were an arcade game, this would be the quarter munching cheap ass. The Fang adds a lot of damage to this, by the way. He's quite nearly dead, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I. He's starting to turn red. Guess who can chug potions and who can't? <laughs> Die! I have your number. Damn. Thought I had him there. If there were an anti-knockback charm, I'd be golden. <laughs> That's so... Well, you were always ugly. You're just less ugly now that you're missing a fucking face. Phalanx is slain. Dead by our hand. That castle is a lot more, uh, a lot more articulated than it was when I zoomed in on it. Ah. Uh, time to sit back and let the credits roll. Now, I haven't mentioned this, but there is another boss. And... I fear he may be a little bit beyond my abilities. I have no practice with him. I might just leave that for you guys to discover. There is a little bit left to this game. And we rise into the clouds. The most powerful being in the demon realm. Standing Phalanx almost summoned the power of infinity. But he was destroyed by the power of Firebrand. Before it came under his control. Mm-hmm. With all the crest safely in his possession. Firebrand mused over the power at his command. It would be a simple thing to use it to reign. Supreme. But in the end, Firebrand decided that his destiny lies elsewhere. The Crest of Infinity. When all six crests are united, the Crest of Infinity is said to appear. And give the bearer unimaginable power. And he casts all six into the void. Crest of Earth. Ruling over the Earth, the Crest gives great, great service, strength to its owner. The credit sequence is probably one of the longer ones I've ever seen. The battle with Belth, who I kept referring to as Bone Daddy. Presumably, Ovenunu here is weak to the uh, Earth Gargoyle. Ovenunu. The Crest of Air. Ruling over the sky. The Crest enables. Survey says. 
the owner to control the wind. You don't say. How about storms and whatnot? Flame Lord. And now for the most uninspired boss name. Although to be fair, it isn't really a boss. Get in here! Flyer. The, a name to strike terror into the hearts of good. The Crest of Water. Ruling over the ocean, the crest allows? Does it allow clean drinking water? The owner to swim beneath the seas. Does it help them to breathe underneath the seas, or does the crest of air cover that? I believe this is Skula? Skula. As well as Holothurian. Skula, I believe, is a goetic demon, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not familiar with Holothurian. That may also be a goetic demon. I'm not sure. The Crest of Time. Ruling over the past. The Crest enables... Time travel? Say yes, please? The owner to go back in time. I was right. One of the few times I am. Hot damn. Hmm. There's this douchebag. Crawler. Oh, that asshole gave me so much trouble. Grewon. Crest of Fire. Presumably that's what's embedded in Firebrand's head. Ruling over flame. The crest allows... The crest allows the owner to control fire. What is your name? Somulo. Interesting. Hippogriff. You don't say. And finally, Atma. Arma. Atma, what am I thinking of? I have FF14 on the brain. Arma and Phalanx. Credits finally roll. An empty... An empty... Huh, the end. An empty cliffside against the stars. The end. Alright then. Do I need to press anything here? Are the actual credits going to roll soon? Oh, okay. Game? Alright. Oh, what's this? Presented by Capcom. Well, that explains half the enemy recycling. Well, thanks for presenting that, Capcom. Fun game. 
a little on the short side. Once you've got it down, you can beat it in about an hour and 15 minutes. You'll spend a long time figuring it out, though. They probably could have fit another couple of levels in, and I'd still have said it was a good, good length. Huh? What the hell? It's a password. Huh. I wonder what this could be. If you're curious, this password is what you get for completing, for finding everything your first time through. This unlocks the ultimate gargoyle. And it gives you access to the secret boss, known only as the Dark Demon. If you want to tackle that on your own, be my guest. But for now, I think I'm all ghosts and goblined out. I certainly hope you've enjoyed watching this. I know I've had a blast presenting it. And most importantly, Happy Halloween! Ha ha ha!